Your mother pushed me into a river in Paris. Moms will be moms. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And then she landed me in an even bigger, muddier mess, which you're only now just pulling me out of, which is your brother. Right. What's up? I don't know, I just I have weighty thoughts. About? I'm just thinking about dad and how we already own the fashion channel, I on fashion, about a half a dozen fashion websites. It won't kill him to invest in this, in us, in me, in, you know, I just, I gotta figure this out. You make me feel so cared for. No, I, I mean it, really, you, you do. Left to pursue other interests. I, I mean, you, okay, you're the PR whiz, but that sounds totally fake to me. Okay. Okay, to focus on growing somewhere in Australia. It, that's the thing. We don't even know if she's leaving LA. So how can we? Oh, okay, the hell with it. Let's just stay mom. I mean, a Forrester leaving Forrester. It's gonna look like a family squabble no matter how we deal with this. Hey, oh, right. how's it hanging, fruit of my loins? You see, what <clears throat> I meant to say was, knock, knock. He always forgets that part. Right. Hi, Dad. Do you mind? Well, you don't actually expect me to have your Looney Tune receptionist announce me, do you? No, no, of course not. Uh, it would be nice if you called my Looney Tune receptionist in advance to see if I'm available, but, you know. <laughs> oh, well, excuse me, Mr. Big Time Executive, but just for the record, how many times did you make an appointment before barging into my office on the top floor of the building that I own? We were working together. And now that you're working here representing Spencer, we're not? Okay, all right, don't do the 12 and a half percent thing, okay? I don't need you looking over my shoulder. We were a good team, but I'll find a way to manage. I mean, I was working here before Ivy came on board. Have you even heard from her? I'm giving her some space. What is that on your tie? Accident at lunch. You know, people thought I was a Brutus CEO. At least I never fired a Forrester. To be fair, from what I hear, Bridge didn't have anything to do with it. It was all Steffi, right? Yeah. She's as brutal as you. So I guess you and Wyatt are now gonna be lords of the jewelry department. Yeah, but will he be upset? Wyatt, why? He's your son, you've been working together for years now. But I don't want him to think I got his girlfriend fired. We have to be careful not to jeopardize your job at Forrester. <laughs> why? Wyatt, it's your job. So? And your dad didn't seem entirely convinced that he needed Spencer Designs. Ivy, I know my father, Liam, lives in fear. My dad lives on the edge, just like I do. This, Spencer Designs is the risk that he needs. This is what he lives for. Okay, this visit seems to have gotten off on the wrong foot. Yeah, is it a visit? Or did Wyatt file a complaint? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let it be understood, whatever Wyatt said, I am the one who fired Ivy. Liam has nothing to do with it. You can't seriously think I'm here to say, don't be mean to Wyatt's girlfriend. The point is, Wyatt needs to mind his own business. Which is here, yes? Yes, it's down the hall. I get that he has big ideas and opinions about everything. So having employees with vision is a bad thing? He's not the one running the company. 
but he has a job here. That's just not it. I cannot stand it if you don't change. Mm. Yeah, I guess it is pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's really bad. Well, thank God it wasn't hot coffee. <laughs> I mean, could you imagine? I guess my first instinct to ignore them wasn't my best strategy. And people think that food truck is so trendy and so cool. Oh, come on. It wasn't their fault. OK, fine, but why didn't you let me call the police? Do you really want the whole city reading about this tomorrow? Come on, Maya, haven't we had enough of that already? I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Sorry for what? Is this what our life is going to be like? A couple of juveniles throwing beer and food at us? No, that's not what our life is going to be like. It's just as sure. But where do they get off calling you the same names that people called me when I was a kid? Because the same people that don't think that you're really a girl don't think that I'm a real man. Ivy, I don't trust you. I don't. And you can't work with someone that you don't trust. And for that reason, you are no longer welcome at Forrester. You're fired. Hey, what? Don't you think your dad is kind of betting against himself if he goes up against Forrester? He has so many shares in that company. Yeah, but they would love to buy him out. Which, come to think of it, would be all the seed money that we would need. Is that Bill? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hey, are you proud of me? I was giving you space. Yes, and I see that you heard Ivy got fired. What happened? Well, one minute she had a job, the next minute she didn't. I heard there was a big scene. <laughs> Not by your standards, trust me. Did Steffi give a reason? Well, I gotta go. I I'm here with Ivy right now, okay? Okay, okay. I. Totally understand. I just want to say, it feels like opportunity could be knocking for us. Maybe it doesn't knock. Maybe it just walks right in. You've made a major change in your design team. I think I'm well within my rights asking your rationale. Yes, we all know you think it's your mission every time you walk in this building to let us know what you're entitled to. But this is a private matter. Are you disputing his right to even walk through the door? No, no problem. I'll ask Ridge. Where is he? He's out. He doesn't even know you can, Ivy, does he? I have the authority to make staffing decisions. Dad, when did you become a fan of Ivy? Son, when did your choke collar get so tight that you can spit on the woman <sighs> you married not so long ago? Whoa. Yeah, I think you deserve that. OK, Ivy is out. She wasn't a team player. I wonder why. I will not justify myself to you. Liam is an executive here, and if he has an objection, he and I will talk about it. Now, if you have a question, you will set up a meeting with him at your mutual convenience. Let me make something else clear. Don't micromanage me. You wanted me here. Let me do my job. You have a very interesting way of showing gratitude. Maybe you'd like to go back to making house calls on sick computers. Don't do that, Dad. You know I'm grateful. I'm just going to go out on a limb and hypothesize that when your father put you in your position, he thought you might exercise a little independent judgment. Excuse me? Steffi and I disagree all the time, Katie. Really? Because I'm not sure I recognize the person standing in front of me. When did you become her yes man? Oh my. Are you going to let her insult your son like that? Anything you want to add, Katie? No, I'm good. I can't stand that I brought this on you. Don't feel responsible for those idiots. If they hadn't recognized me, it wouldn't have happened. Money insulated me from ordinary troubles as a kid, right? A little ketchup, a little lobster roll is not going to hurt this boy. What good is it for, then? What good is it for the world to come around to my side if it just makes you a target? People don't know what to make of me, Maya. You are my husband. Yeah, but 
See, they feel like they know you. They've read reports and articles in the newspaper. They know you've had ups and downs with your parents. You've struggled, but you've overcame. They feel like you deserve the respect. But not love. It's what they can't see. It's what they refuse to see. Bottom line, I'm used to rudeness and curiosity. You shouldn't have to be. I had my freak out, remember? Courtesy of Bill Spencer. And it wasn't about you. It was about what would people think of me. And it almost broke us up. But I am never gonna let that happen again. Did I deserve that? When did you start expecting fairness from Bill? Okay, but what about Katie? Usually she has my back. Yeah, Katie and Bill have no idea how crazy Ivy's been. And it's not like we can say anything. So take their reaction with a grain of salt. Well, here's what I don't get. Why did Wyatt go running to my dad in the first place? About Ivy being fired? Yeah. My dad doesn't even like Ivy. So, what does Quinn think? You worked with her. What do you think she thinks? Uh, I would say she thinks she's now one step closer toward domination now that I'm fired. Uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. So are you going to pitch Spencer Design to her? No. Well, maybe if it's not suicidal. Look, Dad's not going to invest in anything that involves my mother. And then Deacon's going to be there sexual harassing all the female employees. Okay. I can't have all that. All right, all right. Your mom has a great following, and she is very good. And no one can handle her better than you can. I know, it's just... You're back, what's up? I think your father might be a little more open to discussion, but he's pounding his head against the steering wheel right now and he won't come in. He's in his moods. I'll call him. Well, uh, really? Dad, what are you doing? Why don't you come in here? We'll talk about it. Dad. You hang up. So we just came from talking with Liam and Steffi, and it wasn't pretty. Wait, you didn't tell them about my idea, did you? No, no. But I think your father heard you. He did. But running a company and starting a new endeavor, like, that's a big step. And I think he wanted to see how things were going at Forrester. I mean, Rick has been completely sidelined, which is okay, because everyone thought he was crazy anyway. Well. And your father used to think that Steffi walked on water, but not anymore, and Liam is behaving like a real jerk. Oh my god. What? I have a headache. And I'm not disinheriting anyone. That would be childish. Okay. Well, uh, you know, occasionally I lose my temper and, um, you know, can maybe act a little. Childishly. That's one of the things I, I get from you. For instance, why does Liam have a bigger beach house than I do? He found me first. I... Oh. Why'd you give him a top executive job at Spencer and Forrester and not offer me anything? You never asked. Now, what do you want from me? I told you. I want to make you a fortune in a brand new fashion house under your banner bearing your name. It's not the like. Now you know why I tolerated Bill Spencer at our wedding. No, why? Well, believe it or not, he taught me a few things, despite himself. I will never allow myself to be shamed that way. And luckily, I have you as an example to follow. But you shouldn't suffer the consequences for the choices that I've made. I made them, too. To love you. Maybe that wasn't a choice. You know, I don't think these stains are even going to come out of this shirt. Let me try. You know what I was thinking about today? No, what? Your father. Oh. I can't even begin to understand what Julius has gone through in his life. But if what happened today was any kind of inkling of what he's been through, I'm sure he went through it a lot more and a lot more roughly. Yeah, you're probably right, and that's what he blames me for. Back in his generation, you were judged on your masculinity. If the verdict was you're not a man enough, then well, you're suddenly in your own special kind of hell. I should probably understand and forgive more 
And I probably would if he weren't my father. A parent should always be there for their child to fight for them. You may not have had that back then, but you do now. Could we, do you think, give my brother some kind of title? What's his title now? I don't even remember. I don't, I don't know. I just don't want him to feel like Crazy Quinn is being elevated while he's being punished. It's not going to make Ivy's firing go down any easier, you know? Yeah, probably not. He just gets so resentful of me. You know, you're such a sucker for that passive-aggressive thing that he does. Maybe. You have to realize you've done nothing wrong. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've had enough flashes of clarity to know that's not true. I just learned to adjust my expectations in myself. Plus, you love me. How bad could I be if you still love me? What do you know about running a legitimate business, Wyatt? I've been running my mother since I was 15, thank you very much. I'm not talking about Quinn's nut job fantasy land. Everything women wear on their fingers or over their shoulders comes from a fantasy. You have any idea what your startup cost would be? 11 million. That's if we went into production to generate some cash flow. 3.5 if we postpone production for a year because, well, you have no faith in me. And why would I trust you with that kind of money? Don't. That's why God created accountants. You'll know where every penny goes, unlike your investment in Forrester. Let's suppose I don't believe that you can design anything, because I don't. How would you respond? Don't. Hypothetically, you would, because you trust me and your wife. Listen to her. Katie hasn't said a peep. She wants in. All right. Wyatt, there is one thing I really don't like the distinct flavor of. You owe me this, Dad. It's not about that. You're not gonna come across if there isn't something in it for you. This is exactly that. No more nicey-nice with Ridge Forrester. No more pretending to stand the fact that your niece is married to him. And no more indignation from Liam saying, how dare you question my judgment? Dad, back me. You can ask me all the questions you want. I have thicker skin. I'm more of a Spencer than he is, and I'd be happy to prove that to you. Do you have any more questions? Not right now. Okay. I got one. Do we have a deal? <laughs>